Fortnite is hiding crazy secrets about Saturday's live event. You don't want to miss this. There are a ton of brand new Fortnite leaks. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fortnite robot has finally been completely built. And in today's update, there are a bunch of things revealed relating to the Fortnite robot and also the monster itself. Shadical and I know exactly what the monster looks like inside of this live event that is going to be happening. We know exactly what's going to happen during the live event itself. And this is going to be our craziest video yet. Without further ado, let's get into everything because there are a ton of leaks that we need to go over right now. And there's actually a secret about the Fortnite monster that actually makes so much sense. You all might be surprised that the finished robot is a bear. It's all going to make sense as soon as we explain it. Why is it a bear and why is a bear going to be fighting the monster itself? Let's explain all of it right now. Let's go over the leaks. For Tori's Twitter right now, as you can see, we have a picture of the doggest banner and then also the caddis banner. You're all probably wondering why there are two different banners. Let me just tell you right now, Shadical, there are going to be two different teams. We need to explain this right now. You're all probably wondering, what do we mean about two different teams involving this live event? Let me just tell you right now, this is going to be the craziest, most unexpected thing you are going to hear all day. So the fact that we can pick two different sides, we are all going to explain that later. It is all going to make sense. But before I talk about that, let's talk about the live event itself. Because obviously, the monster to a lot of you guys is a complete mystery. You don't know what is happening. You don't know what is going on. But Shadical and I, based on these leaks from Fortori, we know exactly what is going to happen. And well, we have a really, really good idea as to what the monster itself looks like. You are going to be surprised. We are looking at the first place that we ever saw the Fortnite monster. And I just want to say right now, there is a crazy leak on Twitter. I'm about to show you guys with proof that this event, this live event right here, is actually way more important than the cube event, the rocket event, all of the other events, and the fact that all of the other live events and all of the other Fortnite seasons were all leading up to this, and this is the most important live event that Fortnite has ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to miss this. Keep watching. We are looking right here where the monsters spawned. So the monster started off here under Polar Peak. Everyone thought that the monster just happened to be frozen under Polar Peak, but actually there is a reason why it was here in the first place. If you all remember the eggs from the older seasons, you would know that they were closer to the bottom of the entire castle. The, mo the reason for that is literally because the eggs came from the monster itself, and there is proof of that in the files. Obviously, the Fortnite eggs were from season seven. They started having a heartbeat. We had absolutely no idea what was going on, so that just shows how important this live event is itself. The fact that from two seasons ago, the monster itself was already inside of the game laying eggs. That just shows that something crazy is going to happen. And ladies and gentlemen, what I want to show you right now is the leaked image of everything leading up to this. And then ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about why this is so important. What is going to happen during this live event involving picking two different sides because you guys are going to absolutely freak out when you really realize that you can actually be on the monsters team and on top of that we're gonna be revealing what the monster looks like and oh my gosh dude fortnite is in for a treat. As you can see, Fortori 14 hours ago tweeted out the fight, all Fort Bites, and as you can see, the picture of this guy right here is looking at the monster versus the robot itself, and you can see, first of all, the robot has some sort of a sword. This might actually be the Infinity Blade. We don't know for sure yet, but ladies and gentlemen, going back on this picture, the robot and the monster are in the middle of every single other live event, which shows that this is the most most important thing to ever happen in Fortnite. You can see everything that has happened. The rift above Tilted Tower when the rocket first came out. You can see the monster's eye in the bottom left corner. Literally everything is leading up to this right now. And ladies and gentlemen, why is this so important? We are going to be explaining everything else, everything you should be expecting during this crazy, crazy live event. We just found another crazy leak. And let me just tell you right now, the Fortnite Island entirely is in great danger. Let's just say that during this live event, there are going to be two possible outcomes. And us, the Fortnite community, are going to be the ones who actually determine the outcome of the live event itself. 
itself. We're going to explain all of this later. Let me just tell you right now that this involves each of us picking a side, either the monster or the robot. This will all make sense later. This is the most important part of the video. Back on the image itself, showing all of the live events from past Fortnite. And you can see that on this image itself, the description of the image says he tried to warn us this is the most important thing you're all probably wondering who is he and why did he try to warn us shattuck will explain this right now this is super important so the most important part about all of this is the wording that epic games decided to use on this entire thing so pretty much it already means that something had already happened to the map so that could only mean that something very, very bad already happened to the entire island. He tried to warn us. That's saying that something already happened in the past. And obviously, he tried to warn us. That's pretty much saying that whatever happened was absolutely horrible. Showing all of the live events in the past. That's just honestly a symbol of possibly the entire Fortnite island being destroyed from the monster itself. Now, the thing about this is that obviously... What I already mentioned before is that there are two possible outcomes from this live event and the bad outcome picking the wrong side and being on the team with either the robot or the monster. We don't know who's going to cause the bad outcome. One of these outcomes is going to cause something that he, whoever he is, tried to warn us about. This is going to be absolutely crazy, but what we still need to talk about right now, Shadical, is the monster itself, what he looks like, why there's actually two teams, what is this going to mean, and how how are there going to be two different outcomes to this crazy live event? If we go to Fort Tori's tweet from five hours ago, we actually had the name of the LTM for the live event that was leaked. It is called the Final Showdown, and the description says, Initiate Island Defense Protocol. Emergency hyperfuel jetpacks have been granted. Take to the skies and find cover on sky platforms. Now, this makes so much sense of what's going to happen, and this actually shows us what's going to be happening, and this actually actually kind of leads up to what's going to happen with the monster now if you look at the middle of the image obviously you see the mech and you see the fortnite monster now the monster actually looks very very strange as you can see it kind of looks like almost like a wolf or like a werewolf but if you look at the very back of the image you will actually see what what resembles to be wings in the very back. So going up and finding cover in the sky might actually be a bad idea because for all we know, this monster can swim, but it might also be able to fly once it gets enough energy. So obviously the final showdown itself, the name of the live event is based on this image. That's just showing that this is the final all of the live events in the past are leading up to this fight right here, the final showdown. Ladies and gentlemen, we might even see the Fortnite cube once again. We might be seeing a lot of things from the past. So, Shadiko, let's talk right now. Why are there two sides? Why are there two possible outcomes? This is extremely important. There are two possible endings, and this is proof of it. Shadiko, explain. We see at the two pictures the monster team banner and the mecha team banner. Now, what's important? Important about that is the word team literally that shows that there are two different teams that we're going to be able to pick from and it says a new icon for your banner assign it within the locker for both of them which only means that for the live event we are going to get a choice of two different teams for the live event which means we will be fighting alongside the robot keep watching because i have hidden proof in a fortnite trailer that there are two different endings to this season the fortnite season 9 cinematic trailer is literally proof that there are two alternative endings of season nine nobody realized this but this is extremely huge watch this pay very very close attention this is the same guy that was looking at the fort bites with all of the live events and let's look at the end after he sees neo tilted there's going to be a blimp and look at the blimp the future is yours it is confirmed fortnite season 9 has two different endings it's literally up to us to decide
There's a big possibility that if we lose this fight against the monster team, we actually will be getting an entire new map. Obviously, if we can't stop the giant monster, then it's gonna literally destroy the entire map as we know we might possibly be getting a new map. However, if we keep the monster at bay and we don't let him destroy the entire map. As you can see, Musel tweeted out, the monster is going to fight the robot. Monster will fall near Pleasant Park and create a new point of interest. That point of interest will be a combo of existing area, polar cast, and the monster's body. I'm calling it. That's what he tweeted out. And this is only possible if we can defeat the monster. There are two different outcomes. This is going to be the craziest live event. All the other live events are leading up to this. Get ready because Fortnite will never be the same.